Uh, Senator McCaskill. Thank you. Um, last year during a hearing on this subject, uh, I learned that we were selling these lists to other government agencies, which is kind of hard for me to wrap my arms around that policy. And I, I think we were told by Ms. La Confora that this was required by law. Is that correct? That's correct, Senator. We're required to seek reimbursement for our costs. So let's assume that we could do something legislatively. Um, would you see any reason why we couldn't put a secure website up with this information that was properly encrypted and properly passcoded that would share this information? I mean, we got hundreds of millions of dollars going out the door at other agencies, and they're trying to budget paying you for information. I mean, all of this is being gathered in the public domain. It seems bizarre to me that we are not focusing on a priority of a policy that would make this information available to others easily and at as little expense as possible, since the taxpayers are paying the bill uh, no matter where this is occurring. Yes. Uh, we would agree, uh, and, and uh, in our testimony, we, we supported uh, the, the goal of uh, the ranking member's bill, uh, also in the president's uh, fiscal year 2016 budget, uh, to make the full death file available to the Do Not Pay portal, which provides that complete set of records, over 100 million records, to all federal agencies for all federal payments. Well, it would be great if we could get that done. Okay, now here's the other thing that really gets me. If you get data in, you're putting it in the system and selling it without verifying it if there is not an SSA recipient, correct? That's correct. We do not verify uh, records for non-beneficiaries. So, so you get a record and you put it in the system for another agency to buy, but because it's not an SSA recipient, you're not going to the trouble of verifying. Uh, we have no program purpose to do so. So it, is it clearly delineated to them what records are verified and what aren't? It's marked in our NUMADEN as, as an unverified report. Now, are they, to your knowledge, maybe the IG would know or maybe GAO would know, are these other agencies then going and verifying? No, I don't, I don't think there's any additional verification. The, the agencies pay for a, a data set. It might be an annual set plus monthly updates or weekly updates. They're getting information that they believe to be true and correct, and there's no additional verification. Uh, Senator, I would add that in our distribution of the file, and for, uh, in my statement, I, I clearly are articulated the intent of the file is for Social Security purposes. We know that because it's uh, aggregated across jurisdictions and is comprehensive for the most part, that it's a value to others. But we tell folks right up front, it does not include every record, uh, that we cannot uh, confirm the veracity of the file and that they should, in fact, verify it if they're going to use it for a business purpose. Well, what, what if they wanted to pay you to verify it? Well, Couldn't you verify them all and then just charge them for it? You're already charging them for it. Under current law, we, we believe we're verifying uh, all the records that we should be verifying for our program purpose. For those okay. that don't... So the law would have to be changed in order for you to verify everything? Correct. No? Daniel says no. I, I, I don't believe so. They're, they've got a pecking order in terms of what the agency believes to be the most accurate reports. Reports from states are deemed most accurate. They're, they're pre-verified, and they those are deemed not to be... Uh, to, to have to have a, a verification. There's also reports from family members and funeral directors that are believed to be highly accurate that I believe the agency has decided per policy not to verify. I don't think that's in the law. That is agency policy, correct. Okay. And just one example. Have you, have you figured out what it would cost you to verify them and then recover those costs when you sell them? Uh, I would have to get back to you for the record on, on that cost. Would, wouldn't that make sense? If you're in the business of verifying, so it seems like to me you, you guys are doing this verification and you know what it costs you because you're charging people for it, but you're not doing it if there's not an SSA recipient and then that agency is getting it, which heightens the likelihood of an improper payment. Senator, this boils down to a fiscal law question uh, and uh, essentially uh, the, the agency is not permitted to spend trust fund dollars or, or our limited administrative expense account 
on items that don't have a program purpose. And that's the ba basis on which we don't verify non-beneficiary reports. Okay, I, 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 I completely get that. But you understand the common sense argument. Tell me you do. I do. Okay, good. We'll get back to you on the cost. Okay, I just got worried for a minute. Okay, NTIS. Um, Senator Ayotte and I have a bill. Uh, Senator Coburn and I had a bill. This is an agency, we call it, let me Google that for you, because this is an agency that the vast majority of the information that they're supposed to be distributing are, is easily available online. And they are the distribution source for your public death master file. Um, have you all given some thought, if we get rid of NTIS, which we should, because it's a waste of money, um, what your alternative distribution method would be? We have not considered uh, an alternative uh, distribution method because at present, uh, NTIS does serve as that data clearinghouse for the federal government. Yeah, and, and, and it, they, the money goes into a revolving fund which keeps them in existence, which we get back to the beginning, which is this is an agency which has outgrown its usefulness and purpose, and for some reason we have a really hard time shutting down agencies like that. So um, I'm determined, and I think most of my colleagues on this committee share my determination about this agency, so I would think you should begin pricing out what NTIS is making off selling your lists. Uh, maybe you could use that money to verify for the other agencies. Understood. Thank you. 